G'day Reefers! I'm Anya and welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. As you may already know, here at Gallery Aquatica we proudly support the most sustainable options when it comes to reefing wherever possible. Most of our coral is aquacultured, we propagate it ourselves and we strictly only source fish which have been collected from sustainably managed fisheries or ones which are aquacultured in fish farms and fish breeding facilities. So with the onset of the current world pandemic, the COVID, we've actually been struggling a little bit to source as many wild fish as is necessary. There have been far more reefers come on the scene, which is absolutely fantastic, but this has presented a little bit of a problem for us here at the shop because we're sold out of clownfish. So today, why don't you join me as we go to the airport, come on back, and we are going to unpack a aquacultured clownfish haul. unpack these beauties. Let's see what's inside these boxes. Oh, so first up straight away you see these fish are very well packed. These heat packs are actually still really warm which is a very good sign. Nice and warm. It's winter here in Australia at the moment which pretty much means it's a balmy, you know, 20 degrees Celsius, freezing. <laughs> Everything looks really good. Woo! Clownfish galore, amazing. So, it's a bit like Christmas, isn't it? Wow. So we've got a gorgeous selection of the aquacultured clowns here. It's adorable how this is the only time that we get multiple fish in one bag and they ship them they ship very successfully this way because they've got such a huge amount of concentrated oxygen and also these clowns have been raised together in this little clusters so it makes them feel really safe traveling like that safe and secure, you know, safety in numbers. So today we've got some black and white Ocellaris clownfish. So these, this strain actually originates in Darwin. Um, and I've often wondered if they're not black and white because they need to hide from the crocodiles. <laughs> Who really knows? Um, <laughs> we've got some sunrise Dottybacks. They do actually breed a number of beautiful Dottybacks at this facility. However, because of the pandemic, they have just got such a demand on how many fish they are required to send out. So we kind of weren't able to get my favorite, the Orca Dottybacks, and they even breed Royal Grammar as well. So we've got some, what they call Tangerine Percula clownfish. Standard Ocellaris and this box. Oh, some cute tiny little baby Bengai Cardinals. Oh, they're adorable. That's a real surprise because they told me that they probably only had clowns available at this time. We're well, really lucky because we even have Fang Blennies. And they call these ones canary blennies. Oh, they're adorable. They have a beautiful sky blue front with the golden tail. And some black and white snowflake pears as well. It's always a bit of a surprise because you pop in your order request and 
they only determine at time of packing what goes to what person. Oh, these must be the perculas, the tangerine perks. And so it's time to just float them for now for temperature. And once it's been a considerable amount of time, we'll be drip acclimating them as we always do in the buckets. always get is how do we tell the difference between a percular clownfish and an ocellaris clownfish they're both orange they both look like Nemo well we actually use the color that's surrounding their eyeball to determine the difference some people like to say that the percular has a thicker black band around the white band which is the case but not always the orange around the eye are the popular clowns and when they have a black around the eye such as these they're ocellaris clowns it can be really important to know that if you're getting designer clowns and or trying to mix different designer clowns to mix and match your own pair you know, we're potentially going to breed designer clowns. So you never want to mix a percular line bred clown with an ocellaris clown, unless you're ready for a potential little bit of a territorial battle. And bangos. Oh, they're so cute. Now we wait. <laughs> So it's been about 40 minutes now. We're fairly certain that the temperatures match between the bag and our fish system. So it's time to open these bags and start to acclimate for water chemistry. I always think it's really important not to throw the fish in any capacity. So I tend to bring the fish down to the bucket, cut the bag, and gently tip by pulling up the base of the bag. Really ensures that no fish get left behind and that you're minimizing the stress as much as possible. I'm not going to really cover how to acclimate fish in today's video because we have actually done a video all about how to acclimate fish already. So if you'd like some more information on that, you just need to click the link below <laughs> and you'll be able to see a fish acclimation video that we've done previously. But I'm dripping these already, so the main thing is that we're just very slowly allowing the fish to get used to the water parameters between the facility they've just come from. So we use all their original transit water in the acclimation bucket and we're dripping our water slowly and uh, we'll probably do so for quite some time. So I guess they'll be ready in about half an hour or so. If there were ever anything wrong at this point, like a, a foul bag or losses, or you could see that there's a popped bag, you may need to acclimate with a bit more haste and that's okay. But you just assess that as it occurs. It's not the case today because these fish have been so professionally packed and even though they've been on two flights, they look fantastic. <laughs> it's 
it's definitely time to pop these fish into our fish system. Let's go. Snowflakes. Hello. The black bucket made it a bit hot there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, a nice little uh, bullet holes on that one. And Ocellaris. This is so amazing. 60 clownfish in one scoop. <laughs> Hello to your friends. One little scrambler. And the blennies. Do that dotty back first. It's going in here. So we have successfully acclimated a whole bunch of aquacultured clownfish today. I'm really excited because this means that we can fulfill the desires of plenty more up and coming new reef hobbyists. All that's left is to clean up this massive mess. So thanks for joining me sharing our clownfish haul. I'm Anya and happy reefing. That's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you've subscribed to our channel so you don't miss an episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing!